why hello there welcome back to my channel it's great to have you here once again if it's your first time around these parts and you like what you hear at the end of the video why not smash that little like button down below subscribe and of course leave me a comment with your thoughts feelings and suggestions and i'll do my best to ignore every single one of them because who cares about what you have to say when i'm talking hey who cares anyway in more serious news i'm just waiting to make a quick update regarding the joe Schilling random drunk guy at the bar knockout fiasco that happened what a few weeks ago and for the most part i just thought it was a little bit unneeded i didn't think it was necessary at all i think if anything it showed joe Schilling to be a bit of a bully so there's been an update and the update here is concerning the guy obviously that got ko'd he is now suing joe Schilling for abnormal damages and negligent and the negligent burger joint sorry for the bar beatdown the article itself says the following it says joe Schilling is going to court the former glory kickboxing and bellot mma fighter is being sued for more than thirty thousand dollars according to mma fighting for knocking out a random bar patron justin balboa uh balbao yeah as i say his name balboa balbao back on june 27th in fort lauderdale i'm assuming that's florida right joining stitch him up in a in the broward county County lawsuit and also on the hook for more than $30,000 is Bread Management Las Olas LLC, the owner of B Square Burgers, where last month's incident took place. We've initiated the lawsuit. The defendants are in the process of being served, and the attorney Rich Con Forty said, We believe Mr. Balboa uh, has considerably high damages claimed for what has happened based on the actions of Joe's Mr. Schilling and the negligence of the bro management. The lawsuit describes Schilling as a uniquely skilled, trained to be brutally efficient and abnormally dangerous with his bare hands. That's a great um, description to put in your bio somewhere in social media. Obviously, not now because you're going to look like you're not taking the charges seriously, and if a judge sees that, then most likely going to um you know rule the case in the favor of the defendant or whoever the victim but it, that is a quite an accurate way to describe joe Schilling, isn't it a uniquely skilled and trained to be brutally efficient and abnormally dangerous with his bare hands Schilling has yet to comment on this pending lawsuit so you would imagine it's a fairly cut and dry case to be a part of right not really much to kind of you know wiggle room to kind of make the interesting part of it is all the nuances that have been is sort of espoused on social media like i said in my comments i had people basically saying that joe Schilling is accusing the dude of being a racist he was being a cock or a dick to some of the bar staff that are working in a restaurant but again like i said i don't think there's a scenario that exists where that video from what we see which we see Joe Schilling go out of his way to bump into the guy and then when the guy kind of steps to him quote unquote he then decides to unload because he quote unquote feared for his life and if you're wondering why I said fear for his life he even says it himself Joe Schilling here the headline this is what he had to explain why he did it and he basically said he was scared for his life um cold cocked idiot rapper to fight back against global evil so this is the following <laughs> former Bellator MMA fighter Joe Schilling who has made a name for himself on kickboxing circuit was back in the headlines this week for his barroom assault against a fellow patron which ended in a brutal and somewhat unnecessary knockout little context here is a quote from joe Schilling: this guy's rapping like an idiot wrote on social media the bus boy who happens to be black um walks by and this idiot bumps into him and screams me and broke i guess niggas um we don't get along right so i'm assuming the guy is basically rapping along to a song that's playing on the flipping pa system or this burger joint and maybe he bumps into the bus boy in a way to kind of feign some sort of weird connection with him like hey you're black i like hip-hop we're brothers right in a really corn corny white boy kind of way whatever it's ridiculous it's corny it's lame but is that racism i don't think so is he being a dick probably but does it constitute or does it warrant an mma fighter spotting that from across the bar and then deciding to unleash hell fury on this guy probably not it continues um joe shings is the following the bus boy was seriously offended hmm but doesn't want to lose his job as the night goes on this clown starts looking at me i go outside to smoke as i'm walking back he bumps into me i put my hand out to catch him and he immediately says sorry you can see me nod my head like cool then he realizes it's the guy he's been rapping at all night and he yells hey so rapping in that term is that is that like a, a new was is that like a term from where joe Schilling is from is that like a slang to word for staring somebody or kind of giving them the evil or kind of eyeing them up i don't know rapping i've never heard of that so anyway he realizes this um he's been rapping all night and hell's hey i turn around and he flexes on me bad decisions are made every day <laughs> that's like the famous camera line in it 
people get killed every day, right? People get shot every day. The busboy and the DJ came up to me and thanked me. As you can see from the video, when he flexed on me, I was scared for my life and simply defending myself against the evil in this world. Yo, Joe Schilling is an R word, isn't it? Um, Schilling, who hasn't competed since being um, stiffened by Tony Johnson back in late 2019, I don't think this website's a fan of Joe Schilling, um, came under fire for letting his hands go in a situation that did not appear to warrant self-defense, especially when compared to how retired UFC middleweight Michael Bisping handled himself after being assaulted in New Orleans. No word yet on whether or not the victim plans to press charges. So, do I believe this story? Probably not. I think it's complete falsehoods and he's probably just trying to um, rationalize or make sense of the situation after the fact and obviously he knows there is because I think if the reception online would have been like hey well done man congratulations for knocking out that douche online I don't think Joe Shillin would have said any of the stuff that he said here no way it wouldn't have happened but the fact that the reception online wasn't the greatest he's obviously feeling a little bit you know on the defensive and decided to make up this cockamamie story about him being what the n-word police or something in a bar is that what he's basically doing he's the guy that goes around he's the n-word vigilante anyone that says the lyric in the song he's gonna go and beat their asses it's just ridiculous let's refresh ourselves on the video itself right the video itself is fairly cut and dry in my humble opinion so i'm gonna i'm gonna view the video obviously because there's a uh, music playing in the pa that's fairly clear that gets me copyright striked so this is the video right you see the guy standing around in the bar you know feeling himself he's obviously a little bit buzzed there's a girl that he's maybe chatting to maybe not one of the bartenders is there coming that's the bus boy right and i guess he's rapping along that's the lyrics then joe Schilling purposely walks into him he could have easily avoided the dude pushes him to one side the guy says something joe Schilling turns around immediately he's on action squares up to the guy and then bang bang right left knocks him complete out right so brennan decides to get involved and basically throw his uh, opinion out there as to what he thinks of the guy suing joe Schilling. and let's just say it's a fairly um unpopular way to interpret the situation but i'll let you kind of be the judge of it so an update on joe Schilling. i guess that guy that got ko'd by him suing him for i think over thirty thousand dollars him and the actual place too what's he suing the, the burger place because uh, they didn't handle it cor correctly what's he want him to do oh yeah fyi by the way for all my american friends out there is it normal for someone to wear so many different I don't know, sport franchises, teams, memorabilia, merch, jerseys, hats and stuff. Is that a normal thing? Can one person support that many teams? I don't know. Whenever I see a clip of Brendan, he's always wearing some other team's baseball top, football top, hat, basketball thing. Like how many teams can one person support? Don't, shouldn't you just have like a local team, maybe a college team, maybe a West Coast and the East Coast team if you're regarding, you know, depending on what side of the of, of America you live on, maybe a Southern team, Central Conference. I don't know how it works, but how many teams is enough teams that one person can support it just seems very bizarre maybe it's just me i don't know because i'd rather be a rob low guy remember rob low when you were sat in the nfl with an nfl hat right just being kind of a neutral i'm, I'm a fan of the sport overall i'd rather be that guy than be the guy that happens to have a team in every single state that you quote unquote follow but maybe it's just me who knows let's continue you, you don't want to act like a dumbass listen with all this a hopefully you don't get any money from joe Schilling. b you're the reason you got knocked out dude you have to take some ownership now holy shit what one for man's face as well it is swollen it, I, I, maybe this is the consequences of taking too much testosterone or whatever steroids i'm imagining whenever i see someone with a bloated face like this that doesn't look as you know brendan's not a fat dude he might be a bit on the bigger side but he's not a fat dude but his face is really fat isn't it it kind of reminds me of um who's that asian dude that's training or is really working out incredibly hard to be in some superhero movie right he, he has a really massive head and i think part of the from what i saw on twitter and stuff it was kind of one of the, the side effects of taking a lot of steroids basically you sometimes get a big head similar to what joe rogan's got right considering his body shape and his size his head's abnormally big it's just one of those kind of things that you have to kind of accept if you want to be ripped at a really old age or you're going to have like an abnormal type of muscle definition but jesus man his face is on another level and i don't know if he's got fillers or lip injections or whatnot but he's looking sweet should joe Schilling have knocked you unconscious like no. that probably not mm -mm. however however <laughs> however you have to take some responsibility dude you're the one being a drunk asshole you're the one talking shit to professional fighter you take no ownership so let's say you didn't get hammered and act like a jackass and talk shit to joe Schilling. what would have happened Nothing, dum dum. And now you want thirty grand because the system's set up for pussies like yourself? That's insane, dude. 
In what world are we living in? Is it possible to call a civilian a pussy when they're facing, when they're coming face to face with an MMA fire, especially when they've got done nothing to antagonize the person? It's not as if like, you know, who was that famous dude um, that was trolling Deontay Wilder online and he invited him to the gym and completely whooped his ass, right? That's a completely different situation. This guy was clearly having a bit of a knees up and being a bit of a prat in a bar. For the Again, the video doesn't show it, but let's just say he was. If anything, Joe Shilling could have just left. He didn't need to stay. He could have just left. If you thought the guy was being a prick and getting a little bit too larry, just go home, right? There's no need for you to be there. You don't need to get involved in a public altercation with some random. Who knows? Imagine if that guy is a flipping one of those dudes that walks around with a gun or a knife on him just in case he gets into a scrap. Then what? Then you knock the guy out and he ends up stabbing you in the lung and you pass away for what? Because you wanted to defend um, some busboy who you thought was offended because he was rapping along to some Kendrick Lamar lyrics. Like, come on. Some fucking ownership, man. You're the dumbass talking shit to professional fighter. Flexed on him. Dude, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You should not get 30 grand for playing a stupid game. That's what you get. Bet you won't do that again, and that's the only way you're going to learn. Mm. Bet you won't do that again. You want to sue the restaurant for what? Because you're a fucking moron? It's insane, dude. Take ownership. You're an asshole. You crossed the wrong guy in Joe Schill and got dealt with. You got embarrassed, dude. Take ownership, man. You're the reason this situation happened. This isn't a Joe Schilling problem. This is your dumbass problem. And now you want to drag it to courts and hire all this shit? Take some ownership, man. How about you pay fucking Joe Schilling 30 grand for being an idiot? What else you got? All right. It's a weird story, so I don't even know. It's not, though. Like, people want to mouth off these days because they're protected by the laws of the government. Here we go. But, dude, there should be repercussions. If you're going to play stupid games, this is what happens, man. Talk shit to professional fighter, stare at him, flex on him. What do you think's gonna happen, dude? He definitely crossed the wrong. What do you dude. think's gonna happen, man? What did you? So anyway, he keeps repeating himself. You know, ad, ad nauseum for the next minute or so. You know, as the clip progresses. But don't get me wrong. I see where Brendan Schulz coming from to some extent. As a regular civilian, you shouldn't be going up to a trained MMA fighter and trying to engage him in any kind of physical altercation. Him or her, it's probably not going to end well for you. But in the video that I played previously, the guy is clearly not trying to get into a fight with Joe Schilling. He's got his back to the guy. He doesn't even see him as he's walking behind him. He steps in his path. He's obviously a little bit tipsy, having a good time and he happens to bump into Joe Schilling who he didn't see behind him Joe Schilling could have just said sorry dude and continued on but he kind of you know gave off the energy like he was pissed off like he didn't really like the guy stepping his way he maybe lent a bit of a shoulder in or whatever it may be which got the guy's attention because you know when it comes to male on male interactions especially of the physical kind there are things that go unsaid that you can kind of read of somebody the way they twitch maybe if they keep looking over their shoulder or how they look at you hand movers that you can tell if somebody's ready for a scrap so obviously um, the guy felt something of Joe, of Joe Schilling that wasn't the most warmest of receptions. He set stuff into him, of course, big error in that regard, especially in the bar environment. You have no idea if Joe Schilling has been liquored up or what condition he's in. But still, I would still say the responsibility is in the fighter, the trained professional fighter's hands to defuse the situation. Who's that guy? Um henna gracie right on the gracie academy they have a youtube channel whenever they're talking about self-defense and i watch their clips they're amazing the first thing he always says about you know um getting involved in street fights is the first thing that you should always do is just leave if you can de-escalate and leave the situation obviously if you can't and the person's putting you or your friends in danger then you can try and defend yourself but for the most part he always says you should avoid getting in any kind of public altercation because you don't know what the other guy's holding you don't know what the other guy's carrying and it's not really worth the risk or overall getting involved in just random flipping fights with strangers on the street and like i said this isn't a situation where the guy came up to Joe Schilling. If anything, the guy Joe Schilling went out of his way to bump into him. So it seems like the worst sort of interpretation of this situation that Brendan Schaub is taking. But again, I can excuse him a little bit because, you know, he tends to get a little bit of uh, um, maybe, you know, a lot of hate online. So maybe he's sort of using it as an opportunity to remind his people, his distractors online to, you know, keep their criticism of his material in check because if he ever crosses path with them, he might end up doing the same thing. 
but I don't think you can constitute for people walking around and just beating up everybody they see because they don't like the cut of their jib that's just not a situation or a world that I kind of want to live in um, if anything it's a lesson to be learned for other fighters out there and to avoid these altercations as much as possible and again it's a, maybe it's a lesson for other um, folk as well MMA fans in general who can get a little bit lippy in public to maybe keep their opinions and thoughts and feelings about fighters um, you know to themselves especially in the public environment maybe keep it on social media but don't address it in public but I don't know maybe I'm wrong in this situation I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings about it who do you agree with do you agree with Brendan Shaw's point of view that the guy deserved a beat down and he had it coming or do you think the guy is justified in suing Joe Schilling and the bar itself which I'm a little bit dubious about what, what the bar did anything wrong in this situation if they allowed him to drink and stay even though he was being annoying to the bar staff they did him a favor right in that respect I don't really know why he's punishing them for Joe Schilling beating his ass in the bar but still, let me know where you fall on this debate. Do you agree with the victim? Do you agree with the victor? With the aggressor, sorry. Or do you agree with Brendan Schaub? I'd love to know your thoughts, feelings, suggestions. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.